everyone. Welcome to Bow and Arrow Show. Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras. We're going to get right into January 21 for you guys. Um, this is a general outlook for the month just to see what you may or may not be going through in this beautiful new year start. Uh, and let's see who may be centering around your career, what have you, life changes. We're going to see. My lovely Libra, show me what's going on for January 2021. And then we'll pull some clarifiers later on also. Alright, let's get right into it guys. We have Libra 2021. Alright, straight on the center we have Queen of Wands covered by the High Priestess. Man. Covered by another queen and two pentacles, queen of cups, three of swords, oof, and seven of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the hanged man. Let's see if I can get this to focus. All right, guys, hanged man energy. Wow. Well, uh, uh, this is a pretty heavy reading, Libra, right? You got a lot of people that you're dealing with this January. There's a betrayal and there's a lot of financial issues coming up in January as a result of the sort of reverberations of this betrayal. So let's get right into it. Queen of Wands covered by the High Priestess. Well, Libra, Queen of Wands energy, right? So she's the one who shows up when you're learning lessons. She's the one who shows up when uh, you're really having to draw on your wisdom. Uh, she is the internal teacher in a lot of ways, also the external teacher, but she's a teacher. She is a teacher, but she's a teacher of because of what she has learned of her own experience. Queens are water and water of fire wands. So it's the emotional impact that a lot of the different sort of uh, things you've been through, sort of the, uh, we would say like going through, you know, uh, the fire. Right, going through the fire, where well, the Queen of Wands has gone through a lot of fires, she's been forged through a lot of fires, and that fire has really impacted her strength, her emotional strength as well. So this is a period where you're learning a lot uh, from your experience, from the trials and tribulations you've gone through, Libra, and you're covered with the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess is an energy of um, really being highly in touch with your intuition, being in touch with your inner voice, learning those silent lessons, right? The High Priestess talks about... Um, she is the keeper of secrets and secret knowledge in many ways, right? But that, that knowledge, it, oftentimes you talk about it, you know, the lessons of life being secret because um, they are individual, right? They're individual and only you can know them. Only you can know sort of what your experiences have to tell you. Right. Uh, let me get this focus. Only you can know what your experience have to teach you. So of course, uh, it's very, very personal. And the, and this and the secret of that also is the fact that it's personal. So, so no one else can know it. In any case, the high priestess is very much about. Uh, also, again, a form of teaching, but much more talking about paying attention uh, to your own voice, to your own intuition, to the own, to your connections, to the connections that you've made in your life um, through your experiences, through your wisdom. High Priestess covering over the Queen of Wands means that in a lot of ways right now, uh, Libra, the the lessons that you're learning right now are very deep spiritual lessons about yourself, about your life, and about how you are moving forward in this life. Um, they're spiritual as well in, in, in a lot of ways, that you're getting a lot of spiritual wisdom coming in as a result of specifically uh, some really difficult trials and tribulations you've been through. And of course, with Three of Swords, here's the card of betrayal. So you're coming on the heels of this betrayal. You've been really hurt emotionally, right? Um, and, and it's been a blow to the ego as well. But this Queen of Wands and this High Priestess energy is a really big step up uh, in terms of uh, spiritual wisdom and sort of emotional fortitude that goes with that wisdom. Now you're covered with the Queen of Cups. I feel like this month is a period where a lot of people, you're dealing with a lot of sensitive people. Queen of Cups can be very sensitive. She's generally very, very healthy, emotionally healthy, but I feel like Queen of Cups 
to be in your uh, position of conscious, your conscious position, your active thinking position, Libra, it seems to me that there is someone in, in, your, in your life this month in January that is really going to be pulling on you emotionally. Right, they're really going to be wanting a lot from you emotionally. They're going to want to be tapping into your emotional strength, right? Um, and it's going to feel like that. I feel like it's going to feel like a bit of uh, an energy drain, but you're going to be very much aware of it because Queen of Wands, High Priestess, talks about you being very, very in the moment. You know, this combination is the type of combination where it's almost like you know you're learning your lessons as you're learning them. You're so hyper focused and aware. Interesting read, Libra. Now, in the back of your mind, you have the Two of Pentacles. So there's a lot of chaos, emotional, uh, excuse me, not emotional, financial chaos. But that financial chaos does cause some emotional ups and downs. Now, this is your unconscious position with that Queen of Cups in your conscious. So again, this in person, I think that's going to be really pulling on you emotionally. Let's get her focused. Uh, it's going to really involve some financial up and downs as well. Um, this may be somebody that you are, maybe an older person even, like a relative, a mother, or, or someone like that that you may be taking care of that's taking, draining you, you know, it's an emotional drain a little bit as well, but there's also seems to be some kind of financial uh, upheaval about all of this as well. And I'm not really sure how that's going to play out, but it's going to be, it feels like also you may be juggling a lot of jobs, you may be juggling a lot of, there's a lot of balls in the air. That's what Two of Pentacles is. It's the card for flux and change. It can also, it, it can also cause a lot of emotional up and downs as well, which you can see in the ocean behind. So something about this connection with this individual, Queen of Cups energy, Whoever this individual is, um, you're, they're really, uh, again, you're feeling like you're really being drawn this month, January. It's going to be a high emotional energy draw for you this month. Um, and as a result, also, because in the, at the same time, you are keeping a lot of balls in the air. Some of you Libras may be dealing with family issues, right? Dealing with a lot of issues in the family. Emotionally, financially, emotionally, financially. And yet, the strength here is, is pulling through with the Queen of uh, Wands and High Priestess. So, again, listening to your intuition, listening to your wisdom. You're, you already have been through similar situations, so you kind of know what to do here. So, be, be confident and be strong, but there is a lot of ups and downs. And again, here we go. Let's get into this, this, this Three of Swords, which is a card for betrayal. And that Seven of Pentacles, again, the card for Betrayal, Three of Swords, it means that someone has betrayed someone either, you know, and I feel like it's uh, it's not necessarily a situation where it's like, I betrayed you, you betrayed me. Three of Swords is not, it does not only pertain to love connections, it doesn't only pertain to relationships. Um, betrayal comes in many forms. And remember, this is not a cup card. A lot of times it's interpreted as a cup card solely sort of focused on relationships and third-party energy. It's a swords card. So really what we're talking about is is the mentality of someone, the, uh, I, I want to say more or less the, the impact on your mentality or your psyche, your ego, right? So what happens is when somebody hurts you or betrays your trust or your loyalty, you also feel a little bit like you've been duped, like you've been tricked, and this is a blow to the ego. So three of swords cutting the heart. Yes, it hurts emotionally, but a lot of this three of this cutting of the heart is the cutting of that ego as well. It can really, really, uh, and again, another reason why three of swords energy is one of those energies that makes people want to sort of seek vengeance and get retribution because a lot of it is about the ego being hurt being humiliated, etc., through this betrayal. In any case, this is the energy you're coming out of in January. You're moving into a Seven of Pentacles energy. Now, this, this, uh, um, I'm sorry, coming out of this energy, December 2020, this year, it could have started. This Three of Swords energy was happening this before January. Sorry for the shake on the camera. It was happening before this January read. But it's a heavy energy that's bringing a lot of, uh, into January. It's like behind you. So you're being moved forward on, uh, on this sort of um, event. 
and it's still going to be on your mind in January. It's pushing you though to reevaluate a lot also of your sort of uh, work and what you've decided to do for your life in terms of your financial stability to support yourself, etc. Is it where you are at? Something about this betrayal has really shaken you up financially. It's also shaken up how you see what it is you want to do for your life financially, whatever that is, whether that's career, work, a business. Something about it as well has really been shaken up by this betrayal coming um, on this past year before January 2021. And so so through January uh, 2021, you're really going to be reevaluating a lot of that with that Seven of Pentacles, looking back and saying, well, you know, am I really happy? Am I really happy in this field? Am I really happy with this job? Am I happy with the rewards? Am I happy with what I've had the dues I've had to pay for the rewards I'm getting back and all of that? So this is a real sort of like shaky month. Uh, for some of you financially, but it's also a month that is going to ultimately result in you making some really big decisions that lead you closer to a happy sort of work uh, work path or a happier path of uh, engagement in terms of what, how you make your money and still at the same time being fulfilled in life, right? It's a good healing time coming out of that Three of Swords. The Hangman energy is there to let you know that there's going to be a feeling of inspiration coming in. The Hangman shows up when inspiration shows up. You know, when you been bored for quite some time. And again, I feel like this Hangman energy... It almost feels like this is what was going on before this betrayal. Some of you may have been working with a partner, right? So you may have had a lover or a partner, a good friend that you were working with also in as far as a business or career, and there was some kind of betrayal that happened there. And as a result of it, you, you are having to sort of move on. You're having to deal with a lot of financial ups and downs, but you're also waking, some of you are waking up to the fact that you were kind of bored in that connection anyway. And you really do need some inspiration to come in for you to move forward. Again, all of that will be happening in as much as by the end of the month, you're really going to be reevaluating what you truly want to do with your life a lot more. More so than before, because before you were in that kind of hanging around, not doing much energy, kind of status quo energy. Let's see the uh, clar clarity cards for this reading, Libra, and then we're going to call it. All right. Oh, temperance over that queen of cups. We have four of pentacles. So there you have it. Four of pentacles over the two of pentacles. Really instability, fear of losing a lot of what you've worked for. Again, this could certainly lovers. So yeah, some of you were in a relationship where you had a business with your lover and it fell apart. And there's your seven of cups, seven over seven. Wheel of fortune coming out at the bottom of this deck. So this reading, yeah, some of you are Libras. Let me jump right here over to that Three of Swords and the Lovers. You were in a relationship with someone uh, and you guys also worked together and something happened this past year that uh, where it just fell apart, right? Three of Swords, big betrayal, big distrust, probably broke up the relationship, the union, all of it, right? And so what's happened is big lessons. Some of you may have even felt like you were kind of uh, manipulated by this person, right? You were sort of uh, taken advantage of. Again, this is why High Priestess Queen of Wands is coming in. This lesson, a lot of you, your intuition was already telling you or you're learning a lot about your intuition this this January because this this whole event, Three of, three of Swords, sort of betrayal event with the lover's card right there is, is like, man, it's kind of like, oh man, I should have seen the signs. You may have even been warned by some people, what have you, what have you. But again, also waking up to the fact that there was a lot of boredom there. Hangman energy also really status quo for some of you. You stayed there because of the status quo. Wow. Okay, Queen of Cups temperance. So yeah, you're going to have to really stay centered this month. Somebody is still wanting some of your energy. So temperance is coming in to let you know, uh, no matter how much people around you are sort of trying to suck your energy, trying to sort of cause chaos around you, you really do have to remain centered. Um, there's going to, again, be a lot of pull on your emotional energy, your emotional ability. Uh, your emotional sensitivity and your emotional ability, your ability to be there uh, as a rock for somebody emotionally. Again, temperance, temperance with that Queen of Cups energy. Four of Pentacles is coming out here. So again, yeah, there was a big. I think that this this betrayal 
uh, then resulted in not only a breakup, but a huge shake up to your uh, sense of stability, financial stability. Some of you may have, uh, whether you were married or not, you may have really tied up a lot of your finances in this relationship and in this business or whatever this monetary connection was with this person, right? Uh, that so, so now it's really impacted like shit, you know. Uh, the relationship is breaking up or something has happened, the betrayal has happened, but not only is it in the relationship, it's like, now am I going to lose everything I've had to work for? So January, every month of you really juggling a lot to maintain, you know, you're kind of like, look, I have to do this and I have to do this and I have to do this to save uh, and keep what I worked for. Right, and that's what Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is the fear of losing your stability. It's a card for greed and miserliness, but greed and miserliness come from fear. So <clears throat> again, heavy month to work on that. And Two of Pentacles, you can't really do anything about it, but just go. It's just like active, right? Seven over seven. Again, Seven over Pentacles. Uh, seven of Pentacles covered by Seven of Cups. Uh, the reevaluation that's going to happen for you, a lot of you this month, uh, Libra, is that you know you you really had some unrealistic expectations, right? And so this is something you're going to have to address. Seven of Cups is all about that genie in a bottle. Seven of Cups is all about unrealistic expectations that. Um, you know, pie in the sky, you know, and that that really, uh, if we shoot for them or we think we're shooting for them, not only is it unrealistic, but oftentimes we're not really putting the work in that we need to, to achieve them. And so the seven and seven, in this case, this month, you're going to round, come out of this month really having learned a lot about like, you know, having unrealistic expectations, but also not putting the work in you know, or putting in too much work in situations where nobody else is returning, right? You know what I'm saying? Nobody else is coming and giving you anything back. It will depend on you, Libra, and your per personal situation. Some of you will realize that you didn't put the effort in, and that is why you have uh, your expectations were unrealistic. Some of you are going to be realizing that you put all the effort in, and that's why you're uh, your uh, your expectations were unrealistic because you put all the effort in and the other person in this connection did not. And so in any case, it's a real kind of, this is a big wisdom, a big learning month, a big life lessons learning month for you. And certainly uh, about love and connecting love with career. I'm going to leave it at that. Wheel of Fortune is there just to let you know that you do have some good luck coming your way this month, but do take care with the decision making that you're doing. All right, my lovely Libras, I'm going to leave it. I hope you got some clarity out of this. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, let me know um, what you think, all right? Let me know what you, if you like the new setup and all of that good stuff. And for right now, I'm just going to say lovely Libras. I'll see you at your next Libra Outlook. Bye-bye now.